Hey everybody, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We are stalking the downtown area of California, and we're actually on our last round of cassette, tape, video, magazine finding errands that I'm gonna run. I mean, you saw last week or last time when I got kind of fed up with these side quests, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go f try to complete both of these, and both of my leads, as far as I can tell, have to do with Hollywood. I am not sure where to find the magazine. I'm really not. Um, I don't know, but I do know that I my best guess is that there's this gear, yeah, this just convenience store right here, and then the the sin bin where we went before. So we'll see what's up. The other thing that I plan on doing this episode is visiting Club Vesuvius. So I'll go ahead and give you the warning for that. Um, undressed ladies. I don't think there's actual nudity, but it'll be super uncomfortable for me, so you can enjoy that. What's up, Trips cousin? Alright, so you have... Oh, that's a really nice rifle. And what have you been up to tonight, caller? Dude. 80 damage potential, and it only has a ranged combat requirement of 4. I can probably do that, can't I? My ranged is already 4. I'm buying that rifle, man. What's up, dude? I am going to buy the special. Right now. My inventory is full? Well, let's get rid of this terrible... This is the gun, the, the laughing stock of the Santa Monica Police Department. The gun that I've been shot with 60 million times over the course of this game. Um, yeah, we're just gonna sell my own version of that. Even though I have 80 ammo for it, it's not even worth it to fire it in their general direction. Awesome. So I'm gonna buy... God, bullets are... $7 a piece? That is some realistic ammo pricing. Jeez. Alright. What do you... Where is that coming from? Oh, okay. Just say no, dude. Um, Alright, we're done with you for right now. Thanks, though. Um, so there wasn't... I... See here. There's a magazine rack, right? Uh, chin shop, chin magazine, Faker's Quarterly, Little Red, Fire Magazine, like Snoo Times, Mayday Surf. I call them Pisnachios? Man, I could go for some Pisnachios right now. Dude, this guy. This guy. Oh, they look, 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 look. Hold on. Come back here, man. Look, they actually made his eyes red. <laughs> All right, uh... I've got a new weapon. I've got a few bullets for it. We'll come back for more ammo if we need it. Um, but we'll see. I'd save the rest of my money. All right. I guess we're heading down to the sin bin, which I believe is right over this way. I'm not sure, though. So I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right. We're going back in here again. Oh, yes. Hey, what's up, Mr. Ponytail? What can I do for you, Slick? Um, oh, his name is Flynn. Okay. I got a few questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? Oh, I'm looking for a copy of Guy Magazine. We're on, we're on the hot trail here. Sure, pal. You want this month's issue? Tawny Sessions is on the cover wearing nothing but scotch tape and a pair of gym socks. That's kind of gross, I guess. Tempting, but I need last year's. His voice is very quiet. A pretty penny. Well, how pretty? Oh, okay. Five hundred. Fine. Take the money. 
Hey, the pages are all stuck together. That's, that's gross. That's gross. I feel, I, ugh. Ugh. Um, can I go in the employees only room? Do I want to go in the employee? I just need to be alone for a minute. What is this piece of paper? What is this door that has stuck me in the corner? Well, guys, I'm, okay. Hold on. Well, that definitely didn't help, sticking a box behind the door. <sighs> Are you kidding me, really? Oh, I've got a little bit of wiggle room now. All right, hold on. I can't believe I'm getting stuck. All right. There. Okay. Drop to the ground. Perfect. What does this say? His password is dirty dog. Or he just wrote dirty dog on a piece of paper and stuck it to the wall. Um, I don't really... Did we hack his computer when we were here last? I do distinctly remember doing that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go his password on the wall okay guys um fun fact password security is not secure if you write it on a piece of paper and put it next to your computer or under your mouse pad or under your keyboard none of those are secure so we're one quest up we've got um the next thing we need is a tape a special tape I really, I'm loath to go in here. Um, let's do it. I don't remember. Don't remember it being that bad. I mean, I've been in all the other nightclubs and bars. It's a little worse. Dude, am I flying? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're doing the dance animation. Okay, I'm more excited. Okay, they're like just doing the crazy dance that every human being in this game does. Is there any... You're creepy. You look normal. You just look kind of bored and sad. Hey, it's like, it's exactly me. That is my exact character model. What's up, also me? Um, how do I do the change views? I don't think I can without drawing my weapon, and I'm not going to push a bunch of random buttons and find out. Okay, that's the entrance. I guess we talk to this lady who looks different than the others. Ah, oh, look what just walked in. I can't imagine you get much of a rise out of the Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have one out of you. Well, you are obviously a vampire. Um, who are you? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs. Or we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'm going to assume that you're just being... Yeah, let's do it. Lead the way. I, um... I'm going to hope that she just... <sighs> Game. Game. We've talked about this. I'm just going to hope that she means, like, a trap or something, and she's... Ah, this game. Hi. Hi. Away from Jihad and the nonsense and the dangers, just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. That figures. I knew there had to be a catch. I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really, the way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here. And the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. Hunters? I don't want you to say anything that might draw attention. <laughs> Are you sure that's the only reason? Maybe not. I'm Velvet. Valor. I have a poster of you in my bedroom. <laughs> I got it from a creepy guy. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? 
I've heard a lot about him. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? Um, what should I ask? I'm not going to do the whole seduction. <sighs> The option is there, though, and it's pink, and I can hardly read it in cursive. All right, is this where you tell me you used to be a model or a goddess? Flatter, I? No. I'm just a dancer. Keep it up, and maybe I'll give you your own I don't show. need or want... I, can make your heart I don't want that. Um, I'd like to know more. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm Okay, well, tell me about your hunter problem, then. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ashes Club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down a list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. What do you mean? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found the weapon in her locker, and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. Um, I could take care of that, probably. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. <sighs> What's it worth to you? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine, and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. Sure? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go handle that and try to wash off myself. I just, you know, there's nothing wrong with this kind of thing. It's just bizarre how they're portrayed in every single video game. Like, I swear, a disproportionate number of video games feature just arbitrary adult bars that you can go into. I guess it's probably to get a thrill out of younger players because, I mean, like, you can't go into them in real life, so you might as well go when you're playing GTA V or this game or whatever else. Um. Hey, where's my... Where's my quest? The one that I'm supposed to do. Hey. I'm supposed to have a quest, aren't I? Yeah, all right, well, let's go back into Vesuvius and talk to Vivi again. Yeah, that's her name, Velvet Velour, by the way, Vivi for short. Um, but yeah, I don't understand the, like, sort of arbitrary juvenile need to have... Okay, Vivi. Oh, my friends call me Vivi. Velvet will do. About that hunter. I'll take care of her. Would you? Um, sure. You'd really be willing to do this for me. I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very. Neat. What do I do? She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde on the top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, we'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No one of us is please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Sure, I'm gonna uh, go do that. All right, you know, I've had two quests in a row where I've accidentally left in the middle of the dialogue. I should probably watch that. But let's see. Hmm. How? I too, I, to be fair, I really do like the soundtrack in this game. You guys probably can't hear it that well, but it has ambient music that's location based. So we've got like this guitar riff and then like uh, different drum beats and stuff kick in depending on where you are in the busier sections of the city or not. It's pretty cool. Um, it works pretty well. All right, Flynn, I'm just gonna go and uh, murder a vampire hunter. I don't know how I feel about all this, but we'll see. All right. Inventory. 
Do I want to know? Playful rabbit. Oh, good. Okay. Um, we're just gonna not, not know. Okay, what's JPRON? How does import? Okay. <laughs> okay, home, log file, password. Oh, neat. Um, what's chastity's file? $120, okay. Oh, this is illicit. Yep. So they're running uh, illegal prostitution, I guess. Well, that makes me feel less bad about murdering some people, but I still feel bad. This whole thing, um, let's just, we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's deal with this. There. I've closed all the windows so no one can see. They're going to be mad, but it's okay. Buddy, it's 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 okay. <laughs> He's pretty grumpy. All right. Um what's private? Yeah, this is the dimp Oh, that's the that's the way for you to find out about the tape if you can't talk him out of it. Let's just I Big John Farm. Huh. Okay. Menu. Nope. Um home. Quit. Alright. facts here. Uh, it's not a good fact. I'll take that watch, though. Take everything that's not nailed down. That is the adventurer, adventurer's credo. And if it's nailed down, find a pry bar. Alright, I'm going to... The window is... Okay, well... Window 3 has parts missing, so we're gonna have to... Oh, he just put more money in. Good grief. It works and everything. Um, okay, here's kind of a weird back room. These other ones, these ones are fine. That one we're going to have to deal with. Um, are you chastity? You're, blonde. You're not blonde, so. Hi. Yeah, what are you looking for? Um, how about a freebie in the other room? I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. Perfect. You just, you just go there. Where did, did you just go to get more money and then go back? He did. Okay, um, so we need to get rid of that guy. Um, not that, you know, there's anything particularly wrong with him. We just kind of need to... What we should do is just wait for him to go over there and then bite him so that he stops um, moving, I'd imagine. I could probably even stop crouching. It's not that important. Um, buddy. Buddy. You're really something, guy. Come on. I like how everybody in this game does the same dance. It doesn't matter who you are. You all dance like a spaz in Vampire the Masquerade. Okay. Um. Come on, guy. You're going to run out of money eventually. I just wait it out, I guess. I don't. Can I do something terrible to the change machine? I can. 
There will be no more money in the change machine when he comes back to get some. I wish that I could use this terminal over here to shut him out, but th that particular one is broken. Yeah. What? They're operational. Well... Nothing in this place works, right? <sighs> Buddy, come on. Take a hint. I'm trying to do a covert op here. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I might accidentally do something I regret horribly. All right. Um, I'm going to just try something. Whoa. 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 Sword fight! Oh god, I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay. I'm so sorry. Cool. No masquerade violation. Why can't I pick up this sword? Maybe it's a magical demon hunting sword that I can't take. You know what? We're just going. We're just going to go. We're just going to let ourselves out. Done. Nothing, nothing, nothing left. Um, that was relatively straightforward. Um, so part of what I wanted to say about strip clubs and stuff in video games is it's just... I don't know, they always tend to sort of be dismissive uh, of, like, sex workers' rights. And I don't want to get on my social justice podium um, because I really don't appreciate that when people do that. Um, but I wish games portrayed women who work in sex industries in a more, like, humanizing light. Because, I mean, they always there's always that negative stigma of, like, um, Grand Theft Auto where you just beat prostitutes with a baseball bat or use them to get like health back and um i mean they're people too and video games in general don't really humanize well so i'm not going to sit here and preach about it but in it's kind of it's something that could use some help velvet please call me vivi i did the other about that hunter mm -hmm. hunter's dead mm -hmm. You saved mine, and I won't forget that. It's unfortunate it had to be this way. Yes, but through this ordeal, I gained an enticing new ally, and I'm beginning to think it was fate. Well, that's neat. Um, me too. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get going. Bye. I'm poor, poor David. What? Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. <laughs> Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Yeah. He's writing about the Bush administration? No. <laughs> it's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? <sighs> yeah, it's death. I know all about that because that was why my sire died. Death. And I'm afraid for David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard. His less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Well, all right. You can. Scroy had her screenplay. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborators. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to cope with the name of his source out. 
Once you found out who killed the traitor, but do not touch me. Um. All right. I'll give it a shot. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. Hey, I talked to him earlier. I remember we talked about his screenplay a little bit. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. That is the only skill I have. After this is over. I'll come back with David's screenplay. Bye. She's really good. She uh She totally Amarad me, like, from Firefly, she's like, also, and one thing, but from the best angle and lighting at the exact moment that I needed to hear it. Interesting. Well, let's hit up the Lucky Star, and then see where this goes. See, I like quests like this, where I'm investigating and doing stuff. All of the fetch quests are what kind of got on my nerves. Um... I mean, some of them had pretty decent rewards and turned out to be funny or interesting in one way or the other, but <laughs> that Nosferatu network goes on for quite a while. So we're not gonna, we're just not gonna worry about it. I apologize for people that want me to put my best foot forward, but if you've continued watching this Let's Play that far, um, you really know that I don't put my best foot forward ever. I've pretty much slid my way through this game pretty roughly the entire time. <laughs> Uh, all right. Great. Night eating you? About that manuscript you were telling me about. Do you have an extra copy? The good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you know the business? Man, I've got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should... I know a few people interested in making a vampire picture. You do? Man, that's fantastic. I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Yeah, dude. Do you have anybody else? Don't you think he wants to be famous? I mean, who doesn't? Okay, okay. He's a guy. He calls himself joyous. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about that there for like a little time. It's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I don't know how his mind works. Julius, who lives under the pier. That's too bad. Julius is one of the thin bloods, I'm pretty sure. And they've got it hard as it is. I really... Maybe I can not kill him. You know, the whole Knights of the Old Republic... All right, if you never show your face again, I won't kill you. Um, kind of thing. So, we'll see. But let's go talk to Julius under the pier. That also gives me time to step in and take a peek around Santa Monica for that tape that I'm looking for. Really trying to think. Not sure. Really don't have any idea where that tape would be. I've kind of exhausted my options, but it's got to be somewhere. Maybe, no, it wouldn't be something so simple as Amalia gives it to you, because she's the only person that I remember has talked about Tawny Sessions. So let's, I'm going to actually go into Mercurio's apartment, see if our friend is still on the couch bleeding, or if he's actually got his life together. He might not actually be home. I'm going to see here. Hold on. Mercurio? There's Amalia. Wow, she was pretty classy in real life. Is this Mer This isn't Mercurio's apartment, isn't it? No, this is the guy. Check, check. Yeah, Carson. Yeah, this is. Let's try this. Below eight? I think I can do eight. Blood heal. No disciplines allowed. Blood buff. No! Below difficulty eight, and I can't buff. Um, Lockpicking. There's got to be something worthwhile in there, right? How can I make my lockpicking better? That's 12. And that's nine. <sighs> Neither way can I get it up high enough. Um, dexterity helps more things, though. It helps my sneaking and many other things. You know what? 
We're coming back. We're coming back to you, chest. This isn't Mercurio's apartment, though. Isn't... Which one's his? Is it this one? Hey, you aren't bleeding, buddy. Yeah, man. Dude, Mercurio, you're my man. Oh, yes. I cannot use that gun. I cannot use any of these guns. They're all way too fancy. I'm just going to sell you a tire iron. Mercurio, but it's good to see you up and around. I'm glad you're not bleeding on your couch. You actually did a good job getting blood out of the upholstery. All right, dude. I'm going to remember that you have some really sweet weaponry. Um, we'll have to see about lockpicking. That really bugs me. I wish... I wonder. I'm going to try something really hokey and cheap. But don't don't hate me for it. We're going to do some stuff. Okay, we're going to go outside. We're going to blood buff. We're going to go inside. Hurry, 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 hurry. Can I do it? Am I still under the effects of blood buff? Nope. All right. That was worth a try, but... Why is Mercurio's apartment an Elysium area? Um, Elysium is a vampiric meeting ground that where people can mix, uh, and it means no disciplines allowed. And in this game, it basically just means you're not allowed to use disciplines. There are some areas where they would break the game, so they just mark them. And I guess, I guess they wouldn't want you messing around with Mercurio's life too much. Um, let's go talk to Julius under the pier and hope for the best. Zoop. Man, it's been a while since I've been down here to visit these guys. Mm -hmm. Getting kind of tired of these Giovanni loading screens. The game is trying really hard to tell me what to do. Hey man, Julius, what's up? Hey man. Have you been telling a mortal about us? Okay, man. You know, I'm. You know what the penalty is, Julius? Do you? Uh, I'm so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. You. You know what? The punishment is death. I don't want to kill you. These aren't my rules. You understand? Um, you're making this really hard for me, Julius. I don't want to kill you. You would leave Los Angeles? That's fine. I would be... Thank goodness. Why did I have to torture him for so long? Um, I can't do it, man. Just, just go. Dude, it's totally fine. You didn't know... I'm I'm sorry, man. And you look way too much like Chris Pratt for me to kill. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave you be. I'm sorry, Julius. I really wish I didn't have to. You're a fantastic gentleman. Well, you know, and it's not even your fault, really, because they didn't tell you the rules. That's part of the problem. That's the reason the thin buds are all just hanging out on the beach, not doing anything Lost Boy style, is they weren't part of the system. They're just kind of redheaded stepchildren. So I do not feel bad about that. It also redeems me for that orphanage I burned down earlier. Um, not really, but it helps. I didn't actually burn down an orphanage. I just did.
did some very questionable things because quests are quests. And you gotta do quests. Hmm. Huh. Man. Alright, um. I'm gonna go talk to V, and then I'm gonna take the magazine to Amalia, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll by then I'll have enough experience points to buy my lockpicking. To Hollywood. Oh, this episode's almost up. Um, all right, I'm gonna go for just a little bit longer so that we can see these quests through and start fresh next episode. But um, then we'll have to call it quits. I don't like to let the episodes run too far over. Maybe Velvet will have more quests for me. I'm not sure if she does, though. Zoop. Maybe. Couldn't stay away. I couldn't. I actually took care of your problem. Mm -hmm. Here's his screenplay. No, you just you just ordered me to kill people, and this is what bothers you. All right. Thanks. Um, I found out the name of his source. Are they? I mean, did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult, but take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help a lot. Masquerade Redemption. Laying it on relatively thick. Matt, ah, thank you. A VV's autographed photo. You know, 20 experience, 9 and 12. I need one more point. One more measly point. Hey, I have a poster of this. Maybe delivering a memento of me to your computer, to your Haven computer, but this should tide you over. I guess having a pretty girl on your desktop wallpaper is pretty high school goth. Um, I used to do that. I still feel awkward about it to this day. <sighs> but, nah. Let's rock and roll. We have to head down into the... Okay. I know where I'm going. It's actually right over here. Not too bad. Although... Just a little bit out of the way. Hey guys, how you doing? I just like re regularly crawl through this hole in the wall, and they're just hanging out, and <laughs> like, oh, hey, what's up? No, no problem. See you again in a minute. Alright, and... getting pretty good at this he said after immediately getting stuck on the ladder and being unable to climb down <laughs> all right i've never actually done any of these quests for amalia she was always kind of an interesting character um that it's it's a neat idea a supermodel that got turned into a nosferatu and i mean it's something that's present in the vampire the masquerade game like like they said they call them cleopatras um but I think it's neat that they put one in the game. A lot of the NPCs in this game are really, really cool. At least in my mind or eyes. I really like Damsel with her kind of split personality rage issues, flower child thing. It's really too bad that I sort of pissed off the Anarchs and I can't do anything for them. I distinctly remember there being quests, but I'm not sure if there are, so who knows. Hey, lady. Hey. Found your magazine. You did? Oh my god. 
trying to get a copy of that for you. Here. Come on, it's got to be worth something. Well, yeah, I guess. It's against my better judgment, but I guess I'll give you a little something for the effort. Take this. Thank you. Um. Thanks very much. It cost me double that. <laughs> Thanks again for the help. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Thanks again for the help. Net gain two experience points, negative three hundred dollars. Not terrible. All right. I can actually buy my lock picking, and I can make another crack at that thing. I'm gonna do that right now. Sheet. Dexterity up. Security up. Wait, what? What is happening? There. How did you, how did I take points out of my dexterity? You're not supposed to be able to do that. That's really weird. All right, well, there. We're at lockpicking eight. <laughs> Another little glitch. Add it to the pile. Let's go and open that chest. Now, that apartment was um, Milligan. Milligan. He had some stuff to do with that Muddy Waters quest, and I don't remember what. It wasn't Muddy's apartment, was it? It might have been. Um, hold on. Um, Mud Hunt. Yeah, Muddy Mike. Yeah, because, I, okay, so m I'm pretty sure that it's Muddy's apartment um, that he took, because, no, it's Muddy's girlfriend, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't remember. It's connected to that quest. I'm going to stop rambling about it. Let's go open that chest. It's probably going to have stupid stuff in it. Oh. Because, I mean, it is pretty, it's in a pretty low-level area, but it is a really high-level lock, so I don't know. Maybe it's like a cryo later, like a Fallout 5 super weapon that's hidden in the entry area. It's also kind of interesting that they put it in an Elysium where you can't use blood buff, so it's like even harder. It's like a, it's an honest 8 difficulty, not just, eh, 8, 6, same thing. <laughs> I'm hoping... Uh, a large caliber assault rifle that only requires four firearms to use. My first Fisher Price uh, tactical shotgun, perhaps. Something of that nature. Because <laughs> I, I, as I've been talking about, I really need to prepare for the end game. All right, you know, I've this episode's long. I think you guys deserve to see what's in the chest. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, that's what I would want. I don't like cliffhangers, so let's let's do this thing. Hey, man. I'll be in. Sure. Santa Monica. Anytime. Beautiful. Yeah, this place brings me back, brings back memories of back when I still couldn't fight, just like now. <laughs> Only now I have a pretty decent melee combat skill. Uh, Alright, so it's number four. Should work. Nice. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Really? That's all that's in here? Jack shot swimsuit photo. 98% chance that someone has gone wild. <sighs> what in the hell? All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it for this episode, guys. I, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs>